Farmer's Day Market! I'm tired, my allergies are going because it's raining, but we're gonna make it through today, we're gonna make it through. So it is raining, so I'm wearing my Steve Madden combat boots. I've got my favorite Old Navy deep pocket jeans on, and it's sad. These are deep pocket, but whatever. White shirt and a windbreaker. We got this. I'm very excited for market days. I cannot wait, it's been too long. Too long. All right, we're back at it. Back at Jupiter House with my favorite number two sandwich. Fielder always gets the number 20 with no avocado. But, got my, my sweet juice of the Jupiter's nectar. Now it's time for breakfast. Yummy. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good we have to Instagram it for Fielder. He doesn't Instagram a lot. So if you've been following me for a while, you'll recognize this guy. We donated him to Atomic Candy Store. And I we got the TV going with the antennas and the ring pops. Looks great. I can't wait till everything goes back to normal. So we just got some bread right now. We got some kombucha. It's all friend. Very excited to see normal people hanging out at the market. So now we're gonna hop over to our vegetables. Okay, so now comes the fun part of washing all the produce we just got. So, so this is just a mix of some salt as well as distilled white vinegar in some warm water. Basically, you just soak them, kind of do this. I put, I like to put them in this bowl because the spout like fills over into the sink. And yeah, also, freaking, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is that stupid massive strawberry? There's like a the biggest strawberry I've ever freaking seen in this bowl. I gotta find it, I gotta find it, because I gotta show you, y'all. It's so, there it is, there it is. Look at this. Look at it. It's so big. It's so big. Anyways, fun stuff. So that's how I wash the strawberries, and then I'll do the same thing to the heirloom tomatoes. Um, Whenever we go to the farmer's market, we like to get the heirloom tomatoes because we also like to do um, avocado toast in the morning. So you slice these up, put a, everything but the bagel seasoning on it, and y'all, it is delicious. So good. So what we got this SoCo ginger beer today at the market. Um, they had a couple different flavors, but we chose the mint, what, it, cucumber mint? Cucumber mint. Yeah, cucumber mint one. And I'm really excited to try it. I really like ginger beer. You can use it as just by itself or as a mixer. And I love that it comes in a little bottle. So I wonder, it'd be a super Denton thing if you could actually take them the bottle and then they can refill it. I don't know. Anyways, so we're gonna try it today. And I am super excited. So I had to do, you do have to like do a little shaky shake because it does separate a little bit, but let's give it a, let's give it a try. All right, let's, let's try this. 
Oh, that's really good. That's really good. Guys, it's really good. It's like, I don't, it's, it's like tart and you can definitely taste the mint in there and the cute, and it's refreshing from the cucumber. It's really good. So, Fielder is actually going to make a gin and smash and put a little bit of this in it. So, we're going to see how it tastes with the mixer. Um, my friend Cassidy was at the booth and she was telling us that it also tastes really good as a mixer. So, Fielder is going to try that while I just have just plain. Okay, so this morning I took what we grabbed from the community market with and made some avocado toast. So I've got the O'Brien sourdough bread here. Y'all, it's so good. And then the heirloom tomatoes, cut them in half, just did a little avocado mash and yummy breakfast for the win. Okay, so we've been having these little gnat problems and I saw this, funny enough, on TikTok. So I bought these little guys and now I'm gonna have to put them into every single plant in the house to catch the gnats because I don't know which plant the gnats are coming from. Also, say hello to A.A. Ron, the ponytail palm. I am so excited that he is back in the family. Welcome to the club, man! Okay, so I took the plastic off. You got the sticky stuff right there on it and now we're gonna go stick it in the pots and let's catch some gnats y'all so this weekend we really we didn't really do much with Denton just because a lot of places are still doing social distancing we're still closed um but I'm really excited that we were able to go out to the community market and check everything out it was so much fun and so exciting to just see familiar faces and see people that I interact with on social media every day again in real life instead of only on social media. So definitely very excited that we're slowly kind of getting towards that normalcy again. Um, yeah, and then today we just spent it with family. We had a big kind of send off for my brother as well as kind of a little mini graduation party with immediate family for my little brother. Um, I have a lot of brothers. So one is going back to college and then one is going to college. So super excited, super proud of both of them and yeah. That's basically been the whole weekend. It's been just kind of hang out, chill out, relax. So, yeah, hopefully as things start opening up again, I can continue to share the experience with you guys and continue to share with you the favorite parts of Denton that I just absolutely love. There's so much here to do and here to see, and I can't wait till it's all open again. And also, one of my favorite restaurants is opening up. And I cannot wait to order takeout because I have been dying for a lacy salad, y'all. Dying. So I'm super excited for next week and can't wait to see you next weekend. Bye, guys.